As each day passes, we all keep wondering if Viviana Miedema is going to be in the WSL next season. I actually bumped into a group of fans in town the other day. They are saying, is Viv leaving? Is Viv staying? What's going on? The board are also wondering the same question at the moment as well because she hasn't given a definitive answer as to whether she's going to stay at Arsenal for another season or whether she is going to leave. Now, let us not be about the bush. Viv is maybe the best player, the best striker in the WSL, one of them anyway, perhaps one of the best goal scorers the world has ever seen. And she plays here in this league on her doorstep, representing Arsenal week in, week out. And she doesn't tend to let the team down, but this is a massive decision for Viviana Miedema. And you can see why she's going to be completely torn. She joined the club Arsenal in 2017 from Bayern Munich and has developed a talent, a skill, a goal-scoring record that nobody else has ever been able to achieve. The records that she sets are just quite incredible. There's nobody else who does what she does. For example, she's the top goal scorer ever to, to score as many goals for the Netherlands. That's including the men as well. 92 goals for her country in 108 appearances. That aside, she scored 110 goals for Arsenal and been the first player ever in the WSL, including men actually in the Premier League and around the world and other leagues, the first player to ever reach 100 goal contributions as well. That's 70 goals and 30 assists. So what are Arsenal going to do if they don't have Viviana Miedema at the club next season? Obviously, there were some planning in the January transfer window for if she did exit. She said she would stay in the hope that they would make Champions League. They were knocked out, of course. Um, but she has, you know, fulfilled that commitment to the club, as she said she was going to. Stina Blackstenny has come in. Uh, of course, she's a striker. Since she's come in, Viv's dropped into that number 10 role, playing a little bit deeper. We're not getting to see her up front as often. Stina hasn't hit all of the marks as yet. Uh, and Viv has done what she normally does in a season and that is uh, provide goals for the club. I think for Arsenal finishing the, the season just one point off, you know, winning the title, it shows how far they've come over the last couple of years and how crucial this season has been uh, to the squad that Jonas Edeval has actually got right now is um, probably one of the best squads that we've ever seen. You're not even seeing a lot of the talent on the bench as well. You know, Nikita Paris, she's not been pulling up trees. I don't think she's been even given the opportunity since she's been at Arsenal. We haven't seen nearly enough of her, not to mention Mana Awabuchi as well. You know, she played with Viviana Miedema at Bayern Munich. And part of the reason with Mana coming in was to feed Viv in that midfield area and, 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 and provide up the pitch. We've not got to see any of that actually really happen. Why is that? Will that annoy Viv? Is that a reason why she might be considering leaving as well? But she has said she's quite happy in this number 10 role. I actually interviewed her not too long ago, ahead of the Spurs game, the North London Derby, and she'd said these weeks had been her happiest weeks at Arsenal, and that was sitting in that deeper role, which is quite interesting. She said she never ever wanted to be a number nine. She's never said that she wanted to be a number nine. Um, so yeah, she's, she's definitely given us all thoughts at the moment but I do genuinely believe that she is somebody who just takes each day as it comes and she's going to make that decision very very soon. She's on holiday at the moment with some of our Arsenal teammates and when she returns she's going to tell the club what her plans are. Now I'm aware that in the last say year or so there has been lots of interest from clubs all over the world. Barcelona of course who are current Champions League title holders winning their league as well and an unstoppable force with so many, you know, household names at that squad. Viv has, of course, drawn their interest. They would love to sign her. There's also been reports that she's been to visit PSG as well, another interesting prospect. But she says she wants to win titles. That's what she wants to do. Another season has been and gone and another trophyless season for Arsenal, the Arsenal, you know, that club that should be winning absolutely everything. It's not quite hitting the mark at the moment. So will Viv find herself making her way to Spain this summer or France? Very, very interesting indeed. And I've never known a player who's held so much 
of the weight, you know, she, you know, the ball is very much on her court. Everybody wants her, you know, I, I'm hearing that, that, you know, I don't want to say too much, but staff members are all on tender hooks wondering what she's going to do. Her cards are held very, very close to her chest. I do believe that things have changed as well in her personal life. Perhaps maybe a new scenery would be good for her as well. But when it comes to football, we want Viviana Miedema in this league. I will not sleep at night. If she's not in this league, what are we going to do? What sadness? I just can't picture it. I can't picture it. But she does deserve to win. That is a player who deserves all of the accolades. I suppose if you can compare it to the men's game, it's like the prolific striker who deserves the move. Maybe like Harry Kane last summer as well. You know, he does the job. He is the man for the job, but didn't get that move. And what do you want to be? The person with all the records and no trophies? That's the way Viv Viv's career can go if she can stay at Arsenal. Because really, they should have won more. I, I remember interviewing her about a year and a half ago, and she said that her proudest achievement in her career was winning the league with Arsenal. I remember being at that, that after party that night they'd won. And um, I was pregnant, very, very sober, just observing it all. And you think back to how she was that night in her element, a very, very happy place, a happy space. Uh, her family were there. They'd come over from the Netherlands to, to enjoy the party as well. And, and just how much that meant to her, you know, winning is everything. She is a natural born winner. And how empty she must feel at the moment with not being able to f fulfill that arsenal with a better squad around it again, perhaps with a better coach, how that can change her life, how that can shape her, how it can make her one of the best that's ever been in women's football. It has to be something that she's thinking so, so seriously about. But I do wonder as well is that the life that she set up here, you know, over the last four or five years, the friends that she's made, the relationships that she's built, she is very comfortable with her life at London Coney. You know, what she does in that training ground week in, week out. The the people that she's got around her, the support that she's built here would be very, very hard to then up and go. But that is football. You know, we're seeing it so often. You know, players who aren't happy and, and have to go. Is she not happy? I can't imagine she's absolutely thrilled with how the league finished again this season. Arsenal with no trophies again this season. If... Barcelona comes knocking. Viviana Miedema should do what she wants to do and she should probably go because she deserves to win every single trophy that she can get her hands on. She's a player that's worth it. She's shown us that in her, her time here at Arsenal and her time representing her country as well. She once said, I aim to score 50 goals for my country. She scored 50 goals by the time she was 21. She's 25 now. She has so much potential and possibly our best playing days are still in front of her. But are they going to be here in the WSL? Keep you posted.